Uh, what's going on guys? Uh, recently, uh, my son actually went out and he purchased this, uh, this Google Nest Wi-Fi. Uh, the reason why he bought this is because uh, he games in his room and apparently he does not get a good enough Wi-Fi in his room uh, and so his game lags. Uh, so what we did was we bought uh, this uh, Google Nest uh, and it actually has the router and it has a little satellite with it. We'll put the router uh, next to our modem downstairs I'll put the satellite up next to his gaming system uh, upstairs. Uh, let's take a quick look at the box. The front of the box is pretty sleek. It's just a white box. It's got the, the G for Google, and it's got the uh, router and point. I guess the point is the satellite. This is the back of the box. It says uh, stronger connection in every direction, and it is made by Google. Side of the box here, it says blank your home with reliable Wi-Fi up to... Uh, up to 3,800 square feet. So it looks like you can put uh, the router downstairs plus one point upstairs. How does this Wi-Fi system work? The Nest Wi-Fi router plugs into your internet's provider's modem or gateway to create a Wi-Fi for your house. The Nest Wi-Fi endpoint ex expands the network uh, for your whole home and it has a built-in speaker. That's interesting. Here are the tech specs. Uh, you can pause the video here and read that if you'd like. Let's open it up and see what's inside. As soon as you slide the top off the box, you are greeted by uh, the two Google devices. This one looks like this is the router, and this looks like it is the uh, extra satellite. They look virtually identical. Uh, the router has a little G on the top of it where the other one doesn't. The other one has these four dots and looks like a speaker. There's probably a microphone at the top and a speaker at the bottom. Remove these guys. We've got a let's get started guide. What else do we have in here? Looks like we have uh, power for each one of them. here. Pull this guy out and looks like we've got one ethernet cable here and possibly another one here. Let's see. Oh, this part has actually nothing in it. Let's see if we have anything underneath here. All right, this is everything that comes in the box. We have the let's get started. We have an ethernet cable. Uh, we have the two devices and we have uh, two power supplies. So here's the let's get started guide. Setting up your Google Nest Wi-Fi. It says plug in your router. Uh, it says get the Google Home app. And it says set up your devices. Looks pretty simple. Uh, router setup is like this. So you wanna plug your power in. You wanna plug your ethernet into your router. Uh, and then what's included is what we already talked about. It's got the router, it's got the point. It has the two power supplies and it has an ethernet cable. We've also got this little guy here. This little guy here says it's being a part of your home means means respecting your privacy. So this is just telling you that uh, microphones are built into your Nest, uh, so you can use, you can use your voice to ask the Google Assistant for help, uh, make phone calls, and more. And you can actually turn the microphone on or off by a little switch. So let's take a peek here. Looks like right there. So that switch right on the back of the point will turn your microphone on or off. Uh, let's plug this thing in and let's get it started. So we have the router sitting right here on top of, this is my cable box, and this is our internet modem here. You can see there's a globe here. So you wanna plug your internet into here. And then, for instance, if you have like a smart TV, you could plug a smart TV in here since this is the router. Now the other end of this cable, I've got going right here, and I've got going in the back of my uh, Verizon uh, modem here. Now let's plug this guy in to power. Plug that in there, would you? All right. There's no lights on it by anywhere to say that it's powered up. Oh, here we go. We got a little light that's came on right on the front. Uh, at this point, you need to go to uh, either your Android or your iPhone uh, and you need to download this Google Home app. 
once you download the app, uh, then you just need to follow the on-screen uh, prompts to finish your setup. Let's do that right now. Uh, once you click uh, get started, uh, if you already have a Google account, uh, your Google account will actually show up on the screen. You just need to select which one you want to associate with the account. If you don't, you'll need to follow through the prompts. You'll need to walk through the prompts and set yours up. So we've already selected my son's and this is what it looks like now. So I think we're going to set up our Nest router. And it says you'll be able to control devices and services in this home. Uh, we actually aren't going to do any of that. Uh, we just want the faster internet up in my son's room. So I still hit create another home. Now we're going to hit next. Uh, so this, so now you need to come up with a home nickname and a home address. All right, so we did that. And now it says, uh, just our warnings. It says, yes, the Google Home is gonna use all this stuff. All right, so we want to allow while using the app. So we are looking for devices. After scanning uh, for devices, we did find uh, this device and it looks like uh, we can use the camera uh, to scan the QR code on the bottom of this. So let's scan the code. Uh, it says Google wants to use your camera. So if, can you pick that up and let's see if we can scan the QR code. All right. It wants to join the network. So let's press join. So we are connected. Looks like now we can create our own Wi-Fi name. Uh, so we're gonna come up with a Wi-Fi name for my son's room. Go ahead and uh, press next. Uh, so now we need to create a Wi-Fi password. So you get this little message here and then we're gonna go down here and we're going to press yes. And of course, uh, turn on Nest Wi-Fi cloud services and some uh, information as far as what the cloud services are. And then we're gonna hit, yes, I'm in. So it's saying, where is this device? So this device is in a bedroom. Next. And then we're gonna hit next. And custom room name. So if you wanna name this uh, something. All right, so we came up with the name for that. So now we're gonna hit next. Now it is creating our Wi-Fi network. Saving your Wi-Fi settings. This can take up to a minute. All right, once it's done, it says uh, Google Home wants to join Wi-Fi to Frankie's room. So we're gonna hit join. Connecting to Wi-Fi. Uh, so that completed. This is now, do you wanna set up another device? And the answer is yes. And in our instructions, it doesn't say anything about uh, setting up the point. Uh, so let's see what happens when we hit, when we hit uh, yes. It says, now it says, place your next Wi-Fi point. Uh, Wi-Fi points work best when they are no more than two rooms away uh, from the router. So let's plug in our point. All right, so we are plugging this guy into the power. And let's see if there's a light on the front of it. Oh, there we go. We got two little lights uh, on the top of that guy. Uh, and let's give it uh, 30 seconds or so to make sure it boots up and then we will attempt to connect. The lights on the top went away and we have this uh, glowing uh, bluish white light at the bottom. I'm gonna assume that means it is ready to pair. So. Okay, now it's ready to pair because it played a nice music. Hi, to get started, use the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. Uh, we already did that and let's get it set up. So we've already placed it and yeah, so now we want to hit next. So plug your uh, point in, uh, we already did that. So hit next, looking for devices. All right, so it found it. So let's hit next. Pairing mesh. All right, uh, let's flip this guy up so we can see the QR code. There we go. Connecting your Nest Wi-Fi point. 
it says, did you hear the sound? And it did, it, it definitely made a sound. And now it is definitely a blue light underneath it. It was, it was a whitish blue, now it is a blue light. Uh, so did we hear the sound? Yes, we did, so we're gonna hit yes. Uh, legal stuff, blah, 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 don't sue Google, I agree. Google owns you, yes. Yes, I'm in. Okay, so where is this device? I think it's in here, right? Yep. There we go. And we're gonna hit next. Uh, so now we're gonna create a unique name for it. This one. And so we're gonna, and then we're gonna hit next. Now it's connecting to your Wi-Fi. Waiting for the final bits of setup to complete. And the light is still uh, flashing. Here, this talks about the Google Setup Assistant. All right, and we're going to now hit next. And this is just more information about the Google Assistant. So we're just gonna hit more. I think we're just gonna click through all these guys. So this is the Google Assistant and some information about it. So we're gonna hit turn it on. And then you teach your assistant to recognize your voice. So we're gonna go through these steps here. Yes, I agree. It wants to use your microphone. Okay, Google, play my workout playlist. Okay, Google, where's the nearest post office? Hey, Google, remind me to buy flowers. Hey Google, what time is the sunrise? We're all familiar with that. So now we're gonna hit continue. Get personal results with your voice. I just hit no, we can set this stuff up later. Uh, so you can choose your assistant's voice. So voice one, so play a sample. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant, here to help you throughout your day. Let's do voice two, let's play that one. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant, here to help you throughout your day. So there's a male and a female. So do you want the male or female voice? Nice. You want the female voice? All right, so we're gonna hit next. And you can link music services if you want. So YouTube Music, Google Play, Spotify, Pandora. So you want your Spotify account hooked up to this? Next nope. or no? Uh, well, no, you can hit not now. You can do that later. Want to play music? Uh, you can hit cancel for now. Uh, so just advertisements about Sirius XM. So no, we're not going to do that right now. No, we're not going to do that right now. So you can connect your, your Hulu, your Netflix accounts, you know, all that good stuff. But we're not going to do any of that stuff right now. Sling, not now. All right, so get started with voice calls. Not now. Are we gonna set up another Nest device? No, we're not. Testing mesh connection, checking your connection between your Wi-Fi points. It said mesh test was complete, and it says your mesh connection is perfect. Next. Great connection, so we're gonna hit next. Stay in the know, stay up to date, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna hit no thanks. So it looks like the Wi-Fi routers are gonna restart. It won't take longer than two minutes. So it's rebooting and we've got the light flashing on the point and let's go see what the router's doing. The router, all we see is uh, the one white dot on the front of it, no flashing lights. Well, it's rebooting. So it says your Nest is ready for setup. And then underneath this, uh, it has uh, the name of the two, the name of the two devices and uh, our Wi-Fi network. So we're gonna hit continue. So we're gonna do finish setup. All right, so we just set up uh, the PlayStation uh, to the new Wi-Fi. And it did show your connection speed download as uh, 46.9 and your upload as 42.8 which is definitely different than uh, what showed on the test do you remember what it was before with the other one 
like 6.5. Uh, so the download was 6.5 and the upload was about the same? Like 13. Was it like 13? Okay, so it's definitely better. So maybe, hopefully it won't have lagging. Uh, now that we have everything, uh, now that we've got everything all set up, uh, we did do some uh, internet uh, checking. Uh, so I just used the speed tester on my phone, uh, connected to our actual home Wi-Fi uh, in my son's room. And you can see here it was a 16.3 down and 62.8 up. Uh, as soon as we finished setting up the, uh, the new Google Nest, uh, it did a Google Nest Wi-Fi speed. And that ended up saying it was uh, 773 down and 850 up. Not sure where they get those numbers from or how that happened, <laughs> uh, but that's what they say it is according to the app. And then uh, we went and did a speed test on my son's gaming system, and you can see here uh, that it is the down is 42.8 and the up is uh, 46.9, uh, and it was roughly six up and 13 something down. So there's definitely uh, an increase in internet speed. Hopefully he. Uh, doesn't have any more lagging issues. The Google Nest Wi-Fi uh, was super easy to uh, uh, to install. Uh, the QR reader was really neat. Uh, it didn't take long uh, at all. Uh, following all the on online prompts, you know, just next, next, next. And there was a whole bunch of other features uh, with the Google Assistant that we didn't set up. Uh, really, all my son was interested in was getting a little bit faster Wi-Fi uh, in his bedroom, uh, and this. Uh, definitely more than doubled his uh, upload and his uh, and his download speed uh, that he had. If you have any comments at all, uh, please leave them in the comment section below. Uh, if you like this video, uh, please give me a thumbs up because that certainly helps my channel out. And if this was your first time to my channel, please subscribe. Have yourself a great day.